Welcome to iCollect, where I show you what I've collected. And today, the Xbox 360 rack. <laughs> okay. We'll go straight to the design. The design of this thing, it's actually not bad. Look, it holds the four controllers. It's all you really need. For that matter, it's got capacity for about about 50 games, I think. I'm not going to sit here and count them right now, but I believe it's about 50 games. Um, it's pretty sturdy, actually. It's, it's made of a metal, and that's real good in terms of design because a lot of these things are real cheap plastic racks that we get rid of real quick and they break or whatever. And the bottom has a cubby designed specifically for the Xbox with a glass tray at the bottom. And for those that don't know, glass trays are important because glass pulls heat. So a lot of the heat is pulled directly from the Xbox into the glass and that's going to help your Xbox live a lot longer. What I don't care for is that the Xbox has to stand up. I'm not a big fan of the stand up Xbox. I like it to be more traditional, lay down Xbox, I guess. And to each his own. If you guys are okay with that, that's not going to hold you back at all. In terms of design for this thing, it does exactly what it needs to do. It sits in a corner, it holds the system, it holds the games, it holds the controller, everything's clean and tidy, and it's not simply restricted to just Xbox games. And in my living room, I have the Wii and I have my Xbox 360. So this tray right here is actually holding Xbox, Xbox 360, uh, Wii, and GameCube games that I actually enjoy playing down here. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a plus. Now we're going to talk the size of this thing. It's, uh, it's tall. <laughs> but, so is your bookshelf that you put all your games and stuff on. So, I can't mark this down. I gotta say, it's about right. It fits in the corner, it's out of your way, it's nice. Let's give it another plus. Let's move on. When we're talking about products, we talk about the thing that inspires the design of the thing we're collecting. You're talking Xbox 360. The Xbox 360, some people really like it. Some people don't. I feel like it was a rushed system. I feel like they made their mistakes. Microsoft did make good on trying to make up for their mistakes. I can't say that about them today, but I could say that about them then. So I'm going to say that this breaks even. When we talk the last little thing here, we talk about cost. I bought this from a guy at my work and it cost me 30 bucks. However, I looked this up on eBay and on Amazon. And let me explain something to the people that believe they have something here. I paid $30 for this. I would not pay a penny more. For every lame brain idiot online that calls this a sturdy construction all-purpose rack, this is not worth $290. No. No. That is too expensive. It is ridiculous. It is unheard of. For that fact alone, I'm going to give this thing a minus. Because to look this thing up, no, it gets a double negative. This thing is ridiculous if it costs that much. So I'm going to give this a double score here. This thing, in the price that I paid for it, is a plus. It has its purpose. It costs exactly what I think it should, especially since they're all old and used now. For the price that you will pay on eBay, this gets a double negative. Now I'm going to go to my conclusion. Final thoughts on this thing. My score, normal, by the standard that I paid for it, I give this a 3.5. I can't say much bad about it. It does exactly what it's meant to do. 
It's a rack that holds games while at the same time giving us more than enough space for the controllers. And it simply does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's well designed. 3.5. However, for the idiots that are trying to get nearly $300 out of this, this is a 1.5. The only reason any moron should ever purchase this at that price is because he is a moron. This has been I Collect, where I show you what I've collected. And today, it's worth it, unless you're stupid.